knows that Justin is known for dating beautiful women. But let's face the facts. This guy's a fucking homo. And I know this for sure. Because he works at Rich's, and I heard that he can fit at least 10 cocks in his mouth at once. In fact, I heard that it's a requirement if you work there to have the ability to fit 10 cocks in your ass. Kip looks like a goddamn peacock. You know, most um, gay guys come out of the closet. Justin just built himself one with blinking lights and a good sound system. Okay, don't lie. I saw Brittany on your iPod. Thanks. All right, well, uh, hey, did you guys know that uh, Justin was on the Jerry Springer show? Oh my God. Okay, to be honest, I don't remember much about the show, but what I do remember is that he was wearing a locust shirt. I guess Vestal hasn't made one with his face on it, otherwise it would have been wearing that. <laughs> You know, what's weird is the gayest thing that happened on the show wasn't even him kissing Scott. Did you guys see those punches he tried to shoot? <laughs> Fuck <Fucking> pussy. <laughs> okay, so, um, this is going great. Cool. This is wonderful. Um, so, not only does Justin pretend to be gay as some sort of buffer for being tortured as a child, he does the gayest thing of all and puts on this leotard pseudo sci fi. Look at me. He puts on this pseudo sci fi bug costume and tries to pass it off as a uniform. Nope. I'm sorry. You're in a costume. I don't give a fuck what you say. You're just a nerd in a fucking costume. Costume, 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 costume. Oh, jeez. Okay, so, um... I'm not sure if you guys know, but Justin, um, uses Facebook. Um, he's sort of a Facebook whore. And that's fine, I get it, that's awesome. But... I, all right, I'm sure all of you douchebags follow him on Facebook, so you guys probably saw this post. Justin had this awesome post recently um, of him in a, at one of his book signings in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And um, it's a picture of him sitting in front of another picture of him, his gorgeous face, and he's sitting on the bench like this. And the caption reads, well, this is weird. <laughs> and tons of people responded. But one person in particular wrote something awesome, and her name is Karen. And she wrote, Mr. Ego Pearson. And Justin quickly responds, Are you serious, Karen? No need to be jealous. I'm actually pretty damn humble. And well, it didn't make the poster. So you can get off my back now, right? Thanks. Don't be jealous that I'm so damn humble. I'm like as humblest as it gets. Don't be jealous that I'm so damn humble. I felt the need to write a book about my life. Don't be jealous that my hair looks like a cross between Elvis and a gay dolphin. Don't be jealous that I'm so damn sexy. Everybody mistakes me for Johnny Knoxville. More like Johnny Coxville. Okay. <laughs> all right. In all honesty, um, this is Justin's big book release party, and the best he could do was some stupid fucking noise band and a lousy comedian <laughs> at a Mexican food restaurant. Really scraping the bottom of the barrel there, bud. <laughs> That's my time. I'm Michelle. Thank you. I live to rock and I walk to loop. So that was really uh, uncomfortable. Um, sorry, Mom. 
and sorry, pokies and bastard noise. Um, okay, so I, I have a note card here, and I'm gonna try to get through this as best as possible. I don't. Um, yeah. Anyhow, so this is weird again, and, and I'm gonna try to do this. Publishing company says you have to do um, these like book signings, discussions, and whatever. And so far, I've just done signings and like talked to people individually. I did one in Phoenix a few days ago, and <laughs> it worked out really well for me because um, my band All Leather, the drummer of our band, is from Mexico, and uh, just so happens the new law they passed 1077, you know, pointing out the people of color that are potentially could be illegals. Let's get them out of here. So my brilliant idea was, oh, I'm gonna have Jung, the Mex our Mexican drummer, just read in Spanish, and, and <laughs> no one knew what he was saying, and it was it was silent and weird, and I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was like, hey, you want him to go back to Mexico, well, he wants you to go back to Europe, so uh, that was that. Was that. Um, okay, so yeah, my book, uh, I'm a rock musician, which is funny, because I'm not really a musician, and I'm not even an author, but the book called me a rock musician, because there's another guy named Justin Pearson who's in uh, the London, oh no, I'm sorry, the Royal Academy of Music, and I feel really bad for that guy. And speaking of Facebook, him and I are friends on Facebook, and we actually communicated about certain things, and uh, I don't know, it's weird, because he's, you know, an older man, established musical career, and then there's this uh, thing that I do, like the bug costume. Um, and I'm actually shocked that I got a publishing deal. I don't really know how it happened. I mean, I do know, I, I have uh, friends that work in the publishing company and, and originally this idea of a book started off as a, as a blog and uh, I was egged on by uh, a really impressive uh, friend of mine, John Waters, who he, he's a fantastic artist, movie, book, speaker, whatever, everything, and so, uh, I pursued the idea of a book, and uh, it turned into like a legitimate thing, which is kind of weird. And I'm still a little shocked that it happened. And it's weird because uh, I have a couple other, uh, you know, peers that have put out books, and they've some of them have criticized me and and said, "Oh, you're not a writer, and you're this and that." And it's it's funny because I'm not a writer, and I never, you know, call myself that. So it was, yeah, it was a weird thing, and the book the book came out, and. Um, um, uh, this this is what happened. So uh, I put out a book, and I wish there was a mosh pit or something to make it more like a show, and not just me standing here awkwardly. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, and if you want to check out the book, it's got stuff pertaining to music and everything else in my life. And uh, I try to be humble, but apparently I'm not. So thank you very much, everyone. Um, we're going to have Bastard Noise do a live set. I have books for sale, uh, so I can pay the bills. And uh, I will sign them if you want. They're over here. You can find me at any point in the evening. Thank you all very much uh, for the support. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. We love you, Justin!